Deep within the underworld lies a creature that inspires both dread and fascination. Navray Night Eyes, the colossal arachnid whose very name echoes through the caverns as a whispered warning to those who dare to seek her out. Navre has been in this temple for centuries, her dominion uncontested. The remains of failed challengers litter her lair, their bones entangled in webbing, still bound to the stone floor as grim reminders of what awaits the unprepared. For those who approach, the ground trembles under the weight of her massive body. Her fangs drip with venom that can melt through armor, and her movements, though deliberate, are swift and deadly. The underworld entrance is on the northeast side of Fire Island in Trammel, at the base of a volcano, and Navery's lair is in the north of the dungeon, accessed through a hole on the ground near its entrance. The three pillars that stand in the cavern serve as another way to greatly damage Navray, and players can trigger a rockfall that damages her by 30% of her health. Activating the mechanism involves clicking on three stone pillars, each with a clickable part that briefly changes color to indicate it's active. All three pillars must be active at the same time. Players can either position three characters at each pillar or use one character to activate them in sequence. If attempting it solo, timing is key. One pillar remains active for nine seconds, another for six seconds, and the last for three seconds, so they must be activated in that order. The timers rotate daily, and the mechanism has a five-minute cooldown after each use. While it's helpful to use the rockfall to reduce Navery's life, it's not absolutely necessary and much easier to do while in a group. Navre has the ability to ensnare her opponents with webbing which restricts movement and the ability to fight, however potions can still be used, such as the invisibility potion which lasts 20 seconds and effectively stops Navre from doing damage while webbed. Invisibility potions can be purchased on vendor search or crafted with a recipe acquired by doing the reptilian quest from Sleen the Trinket Weaver, found in Heartwood, and killing the name Snake, Coil, found in the Stygian Abyss near Medusa's lair entrance. Coil spawns about every half hour, and having a high luck influences the chance to gain a recipe when completing the quest. Invisibility potions are crafted by skilled alchemists. Navre is also vulnerable to spider or arachnid slayer weapons or spellbooks. Slayer weapons are specialized tools that grant a significant damage boost against specific types of creatures. Each slayer weapon has an assigned creature group, such as demon, reptile, or undead for example, and when used against a creature from that group, it provides an effective damage increase of up to 200%. There are two primary types of slayer weapons. Specific slayers which focus on a narrow group like spider slayers that do triple damage and super slayers which cover broader groups like arachnid slayer, covering all arachnid creatures including spiders, scorpion and terrathin creatures and do double damage. These weapons are essential for maximizing damage output, especially when combined with abilities like perfection or spells like enemy of one, making them highly valuable for adventurers tackling specific monster groups or bosses. While fighting Navre, I was able to do a maximum of 220 points of damage per hit. The potential rewards for defeating Navre include the Night Eyes headgear, which has good resists, a defense chance increase bonus, and three fast cast recovery, or the Tangle Half Apron, which boosts intelligence, mana regeneration, and a slight defense chance increase. The chances for these to drop are quite low, but they are each worth in the millions and very practical to use for either melee or mages. Navray will respawn every 10 minutes. Facing Navray Night Eyes is not only a test of individual skill and preparation, but also a chance to capitalize on Ultima Online's intricate combat mechanics. Combining Slayer weapons, precise timing, and well-chosen potions and buffs can tip the scales in this high-stakes encounter. With valuable, rare loot awaiting those who prevail, Navery's Lair remains a compelling destination for adventurers, inviting both solo players and groups to strategize and push the limits of their combat abilities. 